OK, so we're going to be moving into the realm of equations uh, that involve transformations. So trigonometric equations that have a transformation applied to them. Now, it is important that you have got to grips with what we mean by the period of a function by this point. OK, the period of a trigonometric equation or trigonometric function, rather. OK, so you need to know that sine, cos and tan are periodic functions, that sine and cosine uh, by themselves naturally have a period of 360 degrees or 2 pi radians, um, and that tan has a period of 180 degrees or pi radians. OK, so you need that embedded. Now, it's going to be very tempting um, when you're solving these types of problems to try and sketch the transformed curve. Sometimes it's not that difficult to do that, but in other cases it can be really fiddly. So I would avoid trying to sketch the transformed curve if you are solving an equation that involves a transformation with trigonometry. Okay, I would avoid it. And I'm going to show you how to do that uh, without sketching the transformed curve. You will only ever be transforming, or sorry, sketching uh, the curve sine, cos and tan between 0 and 360, or 0 and 2 pi if you're looking at the radians videos. Okay, so you'll need to follow the instructions step by step just to make sure you're clear on how you incorporate the information about the period of a function to help you solve these trigonometric equations that involve transformations.